Hi, I'm Dean Sweeney here at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. I'm inside the Heroes and Legends building featuring the Astronaut Hall of Fame presented by Boeing. Now today, we're going to be making rockets. But first, we're going to learn just a little bit about kinetic and potential energy. Right now, this rocket doesn't have a whole lot of potential energy, but as I pull the rubber band back, it gains more and more. Potential energy is the amount of energy an object could have. Kinetic energy is the energy an object has while it's in motion. You guys ready to learn about how to make a rocket? Let's get started. First off, you're gonna need an empty paper towel tube. So don't just go ripping a whole bunch of paper towels off, wait till you're done with it, and then we are going to start with this. First thing we're gonna do though, is we need a little bit of tape. So I'm using masking tape. This is probably gonna be the best possible thing we're gonna to use today. But if you want to use duct tape, you're more than welcome to do that as well. We're going to need about 8 inches. So what we are going to do now is we're going to fold it in half to where the sticky part is inside. Be very careful. Make sure that none of the sticky part is showing. If the sticky part does end up sticking out, then we'll just fold it over again just a little bit. There we go. Now what we are going to do is we're going to take a rubber band. We're going to thread it through the rubber band before we move to attach it to our paper towel. We're going to stick that over the top and then we're going to fold each of the sides as even as we can on either side of the tube. Now we get to use a little bit of tape. We're going to use this tape up towards the top. We don't want to tape all of the arm. We're just looking to tape around it about two or three times to kind of secure it. Get a little bit of tape started. And we are gonna tape around it. That's a good three times. Now, to further secure this, we are now going to bend these arms up. And again, we're gonna secure those with tape. This time I'm going to tear off just a bit to make this a little easier. I'm going to secure that piece, wrap it around, secure the other arm, finish up. And now we have a secure spot to be able to launch this tube from. But we're not done yet. We also have to add something called stabilizer beds. As you might be able to see at the end of our Mercury Redstone rocket, there are stabilizer fins down there to help it to fly straight. So what we're gonna do is we are going to be cutting about a third of the way up our tube in order to make room for those fins. What you're gonna do is we're gonna make one incision here and then directly below that, we're gonna make another cut, same distance up. Halfway between these, right here, we're going to make a third incision. And then on the far side, halfway between these, we're going to make a fourth incision. Now it's time to make the fins. So, what we're going to need is two pieces of cardstock. What we're going to do is we're going to fold them in half like a hamburger and then fold them in half like a hamburger again. Now, whenever we go to draw the fin, because we're gonna need to cut it out, you're gonna start at the folded edge, draw in a couple of inches, and then draw out towards the other angle. So you're gonna angle it out as much as you can, and you're gonna end up with something that's very akin to a trapezoid. We're going to go ahead and do that on this one now. We're going to draw in and then out. So just as you've seen here, drew in and out, and now we're going to cut it. I want to grab a good pair of scissors to be able to cut through these two pieces of cardstock. At the 
in and end up with something like this. Now, what we're going to do is in between two of the incisions, we're going to see if our fins fit. And it looks like they fit pretty well, but we want to leave some area at the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold two of them together again. And we're going to cut off about an inch at the bottom. Test it again to see if it is right. That looks pretty good. That leaves us enough room to tape at the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this. We're going to need to cut about halfway into the middle of the bottom. And then halfway into the middle of the top. So what we're going to do is we are going to intersect these two pieces, like so. Now, I prefer to put in the piece that we cut into the bottom first to make this kind of easy. I'm going to go ahead and stick this piece in. And then, for the second piece, we go ahead and move this one into position. So that way it intersects with that. Voila. Now we're going to tape it. So I'm going to get a measure of tape ready. What this tape does is it secures it and keeps the fins inside of our rocket. Like so. Now, at home, what you all are going to want to do is to go ahead and decorate this so you can tell between yours and your friends' rockets and things like that to make sure that it looks as cool as possible. But before you go to launch it, we're going to add a couple more rubber bands so that way we can get some distance on this. The way we're going to do that is by threading one rubber band through the other. You're going to take this side and put it through the hole of the second create a knot. I'm going to do that again. And now it's ready to fly. You want to test it out? Let's do it. Hey, I'm down here. We're going to launch our rockets together. I've got a yardstick, so I'm going to pull it back to 32 inches. We'll launch them together. You guys ready? Three, 